Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make aroma beads, which are these. That one's been hanging in my car for a good eight months now and we've had a really, really hot summer and the scent hasn't lifted at all. It still smells nearly as strong as what it did when I made it. That's with the formula that I'm going to tell you about today. I've been notified on Facebook today that people say that it should be 25% fragrance oil against your aroma beads. Well, personally, I only use 2 to 3% and it's been absolutely fine. And obviously that's still going strong and it's 8, 10 months later. So basically what you need is a jar. This is just an old curry jar that I've used and washed out, obviously. Um, and I just soaked it in the sink in hot water to get rid of the uh, label. So today we're just going to make the aroma beads. It does take normally 24 hours to uh, set before you can actually put them into these bags. Some fragrance oils will take a couple of hours. Some will take 24 hours, some will take 70 hours. It just depends on how often you actually go back to your jar and give it a shake. So basically, I'm making myself a new air freshener, one of these for my car. So I'm only going to make a small amount just so that you can basically see how it's done. So I'm going to use 100 grams. So I'll just set me scale to zero and I want it in grams if I zero that and then give this to the hundred grams you can't get any nearer than that can you one, uh, use two, that'll do, that's 101 but that'll do. So there I've got my aroma beads and all I'm going to do is put them into the jar. I just should roll up a piece of paper because these little buggers get everywhere. And then I just simply pull No spillage, if they go on the floor they are a nightmare to clean up So basically I've, I'm going to add a little bit of colouring I'm not making a lot because like I say it's just for my car uh, And obviously the more space you've got left here The quicker it takes to... Um, dry out so that's just a little tip for you so I'm going to use this mica this is from eBay I'll put the link down at the bottom and I just basically want a little sprinkle I don't want any don't really want that much color in even though that little bit where are we that little bit will do a lot I need a shake so you get the right color in that you need Not doing that much actually. Put a bit more in. It's quite cheap mica this to be honest, so you can put as much or as little in as you want. Like. It will change obviously when you put your oil into it. Right, so that's mixed up. And I'm going to do Love Spell because that is my favourite scent. And this is just a one ounce pot that I use for my samples. And I'm just going to put 2% 
of 100 grams. And that's zero. I'm just going to put 2% of, well, 2 grams of oil. Three, but I don't care because it's absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just going to pour that into my jar. Now it doesn't look a lot of oil, but I can guarantee you that is more than enough. Mm. Amazing. Put the lid on and shake. And as you can see, they start sticking to the bottle. The more you shake it, the better, because it dries it out quicker. And it has to be a, a glass jar, because if it was in anything else, it wouldn't stick. And that's how you find out when it's ready. As you, you can see, it's all sticking. And that is it. That will turn into that. So basically what you do, or what I do, is I put this next to the kettle and I drink quite a lot of cup of tea. I must have one every 20 minutes and every time I go in the kitchen I just give it a shake, get the kids to shake it when they walk past. The more you shake it, the quicker it will dry. Oh, it's not on properly. That's the method. Keep shaking. Now, because I've not made that much, it probably take. I reckon that would be probably done in six hours. Even if there's just one bead stuck at the side, give it a shake. You've got to wait till it's completely dry for it to give a better centre. And that's it. And what I'll do is I will come back and I will give you an update of how long it's taken to dry out. I'd always use a bigger jar than what you're gonna do. If you was to fill it up to there, say, it's gonna take longer to dry. So I always make them in smaller batches, just purely make them when people want them, because obviously if it's stuck on the shelf, it's gonna lose its scent eventually. Uh, and that's it. All right, guys, I'll get back to you once it's uh, dried out. I'll keep it posted on how long it takes. And I'll see you then. Okay, see ya. Bye. Right, guys, I'm back. And it has been... What time is it now? It's only actually been an hour. And as you can see, they're not sticking to the bottle or anything. So to get the job done quicker, it's obviously better to do smaller batches. But they're not sticking at all. So they're dry and they're ready. So i just put them into this bag. I'm going to use the same method as before. I have got a funnel somewhere, I don't know where it is. And pour. I have to spill a few. I don't actually like to fill the bags right up to the top. I think they're more than adequate enough with the smaller amount in, but obviously it does look a lot prettier with um it does look a lot prettier when it's full up. 
But yeah, they're um, they're dry. You see, they don't move around as much when they're full. I think I'll take some of them out, but obviously, yeah, I'm going to take some out because I think it's actually better with less in. That's it. I think it's better like that. So you can either hang that in your wardrobe, in your car, on your car mirror, like I do, and um, they just last forever. Mmm, lovely. So that's Love Spell. You do actually need CLPs for these, and what I do is I, I do like a CLP on a card, and then I just thread the card onto the ribbon, so it just sort of hangs down there like that. And if they want to discard it, they can discard it later. But at least when you're selling them, you've got your CLP on and you're all legal. Um, but it's definitely not 25% fragrance oil. It's 2 to 3%, whichever your preference is. Me personally, I've put 3% in this. And it's it's still very strong. And obviously in a confined space like a wardrobe or your car, it's going to be adequate enough. Anyway, I hope that helps. I also do make the solid aroma beads, which is on the picture that I'm just going to put up now. If anybody wants me to show you how to make them, I will do a video for that. But... For the cost of the aroma beads and the, what's the word, the effect that you get from the solid ones, I don't think it's actually worth doing because the scent only lasts for three to four weeks, if that, and it's a lot, lot weaker. This is more beneficial. I would actually say there's two lots there, personally, and just sell them a little bit cheaper. But I hope that helps. But if you do want me to do the pit, the solid aroma beads, the ones that you do in the oven, I will show you how to do them. That's not a problem, but uh, just let me know. Okay, guys, I hope that was helpful to you. If you like the video and you'd like me to do more videos, please subscribe and like and even comment to say what you'd like me to do. Be much appreciated. Obviously, it's a new channel. Nobody's watching at the moment, but eventually people will be. So I hope that helps anyway, guys. Thank you. Stay safe. Bye.